Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video, I'm going to give you my exam essentials for AWS Networking Specialty Certification. Uh, but before we do that, uh, please subscribe to my channel and help me create more of this content for you. So starting off, so before you go for AWS Advanced Networking Specialty Certification, uh, you should have a good grasp of the below concept which I'm going to talk about now. So number one is understand the physical aspect of Direct Connect. So Direct Connect covers around 35 to 40% of the paper. And since there is very little hands-on practice you can have for this topic, understanding it deeply, I mean, the theoretical concept is really very important. All right, moving on. Number two, understand the BGP and path selection. So to understand Direct Connect, you should know how BGP works and how route propagation happens across the internet. Since this is not the part of the syllabus, it's better you read about BGP on the internet itself. Uh, number three is understand how site-to-site -site VPN connectivity works. So understanding how to set up a site-to-site -site VPN is really important. Although it's rare that you would get a direct question from this topic, but you would get scenarios where, we, where you would or you should have the understanding of site-to-site -site VPN to answer that question. All right, number four know how to maintain high availability and fault tolerance in VPN as well as Direct Connect. So like I said, there will be scenarios like this where you would want how would you do high availability with VPNs and Direct Connect combined. So you should have a good understanding and AWS actually gives you, uh, there's a page in AWS uh, uh, documentation where you ha they have given different scenarios of uh, high availability and fault tolerance. So I would put a link to that page uh, in the description itself. All right, moving on. Number five, should have understanding of transitive peering and different options to configure it. So you should be familiar with the different ways of setting up transitive peering between your VPCs and your VPN connection. And when would you use the one? So uh, like we've talked about transitive, uh, transitive gateway, uh, cloud hub, uh, things like that, right? All right, number six, this is for CloudFront. So CloudFront, you must know the different use cases. Uh, there's nothing much to explain here. Uh, there's a page on the CloudFront the documentation itself that uh, explains different use cases for using CloudFront. So I will put a link to that in the description and you can just go through it. Number seven is understanding Lambda at Edge. So you should know what you can do with Lambda at Edge, uh, what all things you can achieve with uh, running a Lambda function at the Edge location. So this is also very important. And when I gave an exam, I think there were like three questions directly from Lambda at Edge. So probably a good idea to go over Lambda at Edge. All right, moving on. Number eight. This is actually important. You should know how SSL works with CloudFront. So by default, uh, there's a default cert which is uh, associated with uh, CloudFront. But how would you associate a custom certificate as custom SSL certificate? So you should know that uh, and how that works with CloudFront. Uh, moving on, number nine. So you should understand the network optimization techniques. And when I say network optimization techniques, I mean uh, things like enhanced networking and placement group. So when you should use enhanced networking, when you should use placement group. And this is probably the second most topic, uh, second most important topic after Direct Connect. And this uh, this is features a lot, around 10 to 15 questions you would get from network optimization. All right, and last of all, number 10. So you should be thorough with basic networking concept like routing, natting, subnets, VLANs, private network, public network, how the routing happens, how the traffic flows between the public and the private network and inside the private network itself between different subnets. Uh, subnets, if you don't know, are actually VLANs. Uh, if you have worked with any, if you've taken any Cisco certification or like CCN or CCNP, you would know that subnets are nothing, they're just different VLANs. So basic uh, networking knowledge is what is required for this uh, certification. Uh, I mean, you should have. So yeah. Yeah, so this is, the last video actually of our advanced networking specialty course guys 
and we'll be starting a new series uh, the next internal soon after this and i would also be running in parallel an ad hoc series where i would talk about general networking concept like we've talked about routing natting and things like that and some devops technologies as well like uh, run networking in the docker something like that so yeah this is it for this video guys i hope you i mean just let me know whenever you appear for the exam comment what was your what was your result and i'll be very happy to help you through if you uh, did not ex understand any concept just comment it in the comment section and i would get back to you so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe to my channel and let's keep rocking